sacro coccygeal okay sacrum under coccyx mobilization coccyx cannot be accessed from posterior surface the therapist has to wear a glove okay and then go intra rectal okay that is through the rectum and then approach the anterior surface of the coccyx okay the posterior surface of the coccyx will be approached from the thumb which is outside okay and then once the starting position is achieved pelvis and the sacrum is stabilized the subject is in sideline okay upper leg is flexed more the lower leg is just flexed for base of support upper leg is more flex flexed just to open the rectum okay and then stabilization is given the therapist holds the coccyx and then he can give posterior and also anterior glides okay so posterior anterior glides posterior glides anterior glides okay and then if access to the lateral masses of the coccyx is obtained sometimes it will be very tender in subjects okay if it is obtained then you can give lateral glide to the right side lateral glide to the left side okay lateral glide to the right lateral glide to the left okay the safest technique however to begin with is once you get access to the coccyx is give a gentle distraction because if there is a positional fault in the coccyx secondary to what is called as a coccydynia okay pain in the coccyx fall on the buttocks coccyx okay then when you do distraction itself the ligament tension will reduce the joint okay distraction is well tolerated okay rather than giving directly the other glides after distraction you give a common glide that is to be given is the posterior glide because anterior displacement of the coccyx is more symptomatic always this will go to weight bearing okay anteriorly displaced means so you do posterior glide okay lateral ones are very uncommon post traumatic if there is a fracture okay and then there is a displacement then it could have healed in the abnormal position so there you can use the lateral glides so that is for the mobilization of the coccyx